Okay, on to encapsulated bacteria, which are bacteria covered by an outer capsule made of polysaccharide. These bacteria can be highly virulent because the capsule protects them from phagocytosis. People who lack a spleen, or asplenics, are highly susceptible to sepsis by encapsulated bacteria as the spleen is an important barrier against these organisms. Do you know which are the most important encapsulated bacteria? The answer is strep pneumonia, Haemophilus influenza, and Neisseria meningitidis. Vaccines against these bacteria use the capsule as an antigen. Hang on just a sec. Why might people lack a spleen in the first place? Well, in the setting of severe trauma, a splenectomy may be necessary. But what are some hematologic diseases that might affect the spleen? I'm thinking of a disease that can cause recurrent splenic infarctions and effective asplenia. Show me the money. What is it? Sickle cell disease. That's right. Sickle cell patients get recurrent splenic insults and eventually can infarct their spleen completely. Wait a second. One more micro tie-in for sickle cell disease. What is the bug that classically causes osteomyelitis in these patients? Salmonella, yes, salmonella osteomyelitis and sickle cell disease. So on your test, you might get a vignette about a kiddo with a classic history of sickle cell, and then they'll tell you he gets salmonella osteomyelitis. You think you're golden because you've got the diagnosis already figured out. But wait, they're going to ask you what other vaccines the kid should get. Jaws are going to hit the floor, but you've got this one in the bag because you heard it here on First Aid Express. You better make sure that kid gets vaccinated against meningitis, H flu, and strep pneumo. Give me a fist pump. That's another question you just got right on your boards. But you're not off the hook just yet. What is the other red blood cell disorder that is commonly treated with splenectomy? Hereditary spherocytosis. Yep, in H. S, the spherocyte gets destroyed in the spleen, so the only way to prevent this is to take out the spleen. Okay, so now we have an explanation of why someone might not have a spleen, and in those cases we need to vaccinate the individual to protect them from these severe infections. Individuals with B cell deficiencies are also at increased risk of disease by encapsulated bacteria, as B cell immunity is the main line of defense against these organisms. Remember that B cell immunity is antibody mediated immunity. A little immunology tie in here. What are some examples of B cell immune deficiencies? Well, Bruton's A gamma globulinemia, the X linked recessive disorder, should definitely be on your mind. And what's the typical age of a child presenting with this? Well, I'm thinking of a child around six months in age or so, maybe a baby boy who presents with recurrent bacterial infection. But why six months? Well, this is the natural decline in maternal IgG, and this reveals the baby's deficiency. Boom, getting your points on micro and immuno all at once. Okay, so time for another flash quiz. Now we have a child with asplenia. What three vaccines did we just say you want to make sure you give this patient? I'll give you about a few seconds to think about this one. All right, so the answers are strep pneumo, H flu, and Neisseria meningitidis. Remember, patients without a spleen are susceptible to infection by encapsulated bacteria, so you'll have to vaccinate them to protect against these bugs.